If you look at these images of the Navadurga carefully, you'll notice that they're telling a story. I'm sure you've never heard this before, so watch till the end. This is episode 3 of Understanding Devi. So the first role of relationship any women share is of being a daughter. That is why Devi is also first a daughter. She is called Shail Putri, the daughter of the mountains. She then becomes Brahmacharini. This is the student phase, the age of learning and growth. That is why she's not carrying any weapons. And notice that she's not sitting on a lion or a tiger. She then gets married and is called Chandraganta. She shares the crescent moon of her husband. Chandraganta is now ready to become a mother. She's called Kushmanda. Kushma means cosmic and Anda means egg. And she does become a mother and is called Skandmata. And from here, her internal journey begins. She's called Katyaini, the slayer of Mahishasur. And Mahishasur here representing both her internal and external fights. Her internal fights with her lower emotions and external with patriarchy and societal norms. When a woman breaks these societal norms and embraces everything positive, negative within her, she becomes Kal Ratri. And when a woman gracefully goes through all these beats of life, she becomes an inspiration for other women. Hence, she is called Mahagori. Maha means great. And she develops the power of uplifting other women and the whole society with her. That is why she is finally called Siddhi Datri, the bestower of boons, the bestower of powers. So more than just praying to them, we must observe because 